So, okay, this is a very, very easy trap to fall into if you're not careful when you're using L'Hopital. All right, so we have the limit as x approaches zero of sine x over x cubed equals, if we use L'Hopital, and I'll put it in inverted commas because it is a L'Hopital trap for the unwary, so clearly this isn't the right answer, you get minus a sixth. And if you use the Taylor expansion, you get infinity, so... What is going on? Let's have a look at the trap. Okay, so basically, let's have a look. Method A, if we want, let's call it method A, which is incorrect. And we'll see why in a minute, but it's a very, very easy trap to fall into. Okay, so what we say is, all right, well, look, sine x over x cubed. Well, the limit as x approaches zero, it's zero over zero, which is indeterminate. So we think, ah, okay, good. Let's use... L'Hopital, and we go, all right, well, that's easy. Differential of sine x is cos x over 3x squared. Okay, well, if we put zero in there, we've still not got the right form. So let's differentiate it again, and then we get minus sine x over 6x. And still, we can't do it because we've got x approaching zero. So then we differentiate again, and we've got minus cos x over 6. And we think, ah, finally, okay, the limit as x approaches zero, cos of zero is 1, and over 6 minus. So therefore, our limit is minus 1 sixth. That's incorrect. Okay, well, let's have a look at method B, which is the correct method. And then we will see where L'Hopital has gone on. So method B is actually relatively simple. We're just going to use the Taylor or Maclaurin expansion of sine x, which is x minus x cubed over 3 factorial, add x to the 5 over 5 factorial, add da 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 da. And so therefore, sine x over x cubed is going to be 1 over x squared minus 1 over 3 factorial, add x squared over 5 factorial, add da 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 da. And the limit of that as x approaches 0, well, the limit of that as x approaches 0, that approaches infinity. That obviously is minus 1 sixth, which, by the way, uh, is where that comes from. And here, of course, well, we're going to get 0 over 5 factorial, etc. All of this lot is going to approach 0. And so, therefore, the limit as x approaches 0, sine x over x cubed, approaches infinity, sorry, approaches infinity as x approaches 0. And that is the correct method. The limit of sine x over x cubed as x approaches, infinite, uh, x approaches zero is infinite. And the graph looks something along the lines of that. There's an, an asymptote going up at x equals zero here. So what went wrong on method A? Because at first glance, it looks fine. Okay, well, what went wrong is that we have to remember that we can only use L'Hopital when we have an indeterminate form like 0 over 0 or infinity over infinity. Now, we got ourselves a little bit excited because we did have an inde indeterminate form here. So we can use L'Hopital. That's absolutely no problem. So we get down to here. But then when we have here the limit as x approaches 0, hang on a sec, hold your horses. Cos of 0 is 1 over 0. This is not an indeterminate form. So therefore, we can't use L'Hopital on this second step here. We can use it on the third step, and we can use it on the first step, but we can't use it on the second step, and so therefore, we can't use it because it all goes wrong. The problem is, of course, when you see something like this, if you get involved in L'Hopital, especially if you're in an exam situation, and you just keep on differentiate top, bottom, top, bottom, you think, ah, oh, I've got to differentiate three times because of x cubed, bang, 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 and you get this answer here, but you have to check at each step, is it still an indeterminate form? OK, well, I hope that um, this will save you from falling into that trap in an exam. And uh, some bright spark said that what you should be doing is look before you leap, which is actually quite clever, I must say. It's not my joke. Uh, I found that from somebody else. OK, well, I hope you found this useful. If you have, uh, please like this video and subscribe to the Gracie Academy YouTube channel. Thank you.